you make code micro bit. So this is a web-based simulation of a micro bit. And if you haven't seen a micro bit before, this is what they look like. Um, so make code micro bit is a great option for any um, student or class who doesn't have access to a physical micro bit, which is like a mini computer, um, to be able to use the different functions. So I'll take you through some of the basic functions and then we're going to make a coin toss using microbit. Um, so I'm going to name my project first, Michaela's uh, coin toss, create. And before we get started on the coin toss, I'll show you some of the basic functions. So these are our different options um, that we can use to um, simulate the micro bit. So we've got the basic functions here and just for an example, if I bring this guy inside here, that means that on start, it's going to show this icon. Now I can change that to on shake, for example. Um, and these are our other options. We'll just stick with shake. So if I move this love heart icon, that means that when I shake, and I can shake it by clicking this, or I can shake it like that, it's going to display the love heart. And I can change my icon here. So if I want to have a jumping jack guy, when I shake it, oh, where is it? There he is. And to delete these, we're just going to pop them over here. Okay, so to make our coin toss, I'm going to get rid of these two. And... This is our input, so all the different functions here. Um, we can scroll down. So if I put this up here, and we're going to put some functions inside this block. So the first one will go into logic. So that's for every time that we um, press the A button, because that's what we had. Um, and we're going to get this, put it inside. Now I don't want it if true, so I'm going to change it to, um, oh, it's in maths, a random. So you can either use numbers depending on what project you're doing. Because it's a coin toss, it's just two options, heads or tails. So we're going to go pick random, true or false, and that gets put in there. And then we are going to get an icon here, and that will go in here. So our first icon can be heads, and you can choose anyone that you want to represent a head. I'm going to go with the smiley face. And then we're going to get another icon, for our tails. Oops, sorry. Not sure what's going on there. For our tails, that will go here. And tails, again, you can choose any icon. I'm going to go just with a square. So, now what happens when I press the A button? one or the other is going to pop up. So this time we've got tails. Let's see what happens next. Oh, we've got tails again. And heads. So to make it a little bit more funner, we can add some more icons um, in the lead up to before we get our heads or our tails. So if we put this in here, and I'm going to put a total of three different icons. So I'll start with a small diamond. Then I will take another one. Oops, nope, wrong place. Oh dear, that goes there. 
and this goes here and I'll get a bigger diamond and one more to the top and I'll just get this random jumble so now um, it's only going to work if I get a heads if I get a tails it's still just going to be the square so let's see what happens when I get there we go a bit of suspense and now I'll just add it in for my tails so same thing we've got the little diamond and medium sized diamond and the jumble so that's our block there and click out of that so when I press A it's gonna load and we've got a heads so you could make this into a game if you're gonna guess heads or tails um, quite fun tails tails again and one more heads so it is selecting it randomly um, and you can even add music in let's try adding a what are we going to add shall we do a giggle here and the other benefit about the make code micro bit is that all of these functions are color coded so it's quite easy to know once you've got them in to um, differentiate them so I'll put I'm gonna have to scroll down ah, just Put that there, put this back, and we want that there. So I can change the different sounds. So if I get a tails, maybe I'll be sad. If I get a heads, I will be happy. Let's see what happens. So we got a sad. And we'll see if we can get a happy. There we go. So there's lots of different things you can do. And you can play around. It's very um, experimental to get to use all the functions. These maths ones can be quite advanced as well. Um, so lots of different opportunities for differentiation. Uh, I hope this was useful. And um, yeah.